Oh my God. If laughter is the best medicine, <laughs> Carl Armstrong found a strong dose at Portland's Adventist Health after a stroke 17 years ago. Cardiac rehab is the best place for me. In this cardiac rehab, there's more than treadmills and exercise bikes. There's also a chance to get in the game. The players set this program up to spike for success. We're really like family. We know each other like family. We go to lunch together. We do a lot of stuff together. The group of 20 gets together at least once a week. Yeah, it's two hours of solid fun. It's just insane. It's just insane. It's great. They range in age from their early 50s to 98. Some have heart conditions, others lung issues. Think about when you laugh, you're drawing breath in to laugh out. So that's pulmonary. You're exercising, so that's making your heart work. So, I mean, you're getting the best of both worlds. Their friendships have given way to some notable nicknames. Oh, Iron oh, Fist. Right. Once Iron in a while, I hit it hard. It? I'm called Slick because I am. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, on the court, is Special K. Oh, Angela Mathis, a.k.a. Octopus, like I have eight arms instead of two, has severe asthma, and she's been part of the program for 25 years. Uh, it's probably one of the best decisions of my life to come here. It's kept me alive. It's been a great program. I can't say anything. So it's one of the really rare interventions in medicine where it's non-medical, uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money, it's not a surgery, and it gives people a lot of agency in their own treatments with really amazing results, almost like nothing else. With this group, it's hard to sit on the sidelines, and they do say all abilities are welcome. <laughs> and cardiac rehab really, as you can see, has a great sense of community and has been really demonstrated to show uh, increased, uh, uh, improved rates of depression, improved anxiety, improved social isolation after completing a program. That improvement likely extends to the volleyball court, <laughs> where the heart-healthy camaraderie is more important than competition. Well, in this case, laughter may indeed be the best medicine. All right. Oh, you were. <laughs> Words can't describe how good my volleyball I skills keep are. I my lips shut. Whew, but that's not I what it's like about. That. You know, yeah, I mean, no. it, it's really about having fun. It doesn't matter what your skill level is. Mm -hmm. It's about that connection. And although I'm not good enough to get a nickname yet, <laughs> I still got to wait a little bit. But it was so much fun hanging out with that gang. They look like a lot of fun. Um, you heard that woman. She said it's really changed her life. So yeah. it's obviously making a big health impact for these people. It definitely does. And that's what Dr. Moyer says. He says rehab can cut the risk of cardiac related death by 25%. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. But get this one in five people who are eligible for this mm -hmm. kind of program don't take advantage of it or are not referred. So if you want to learn more about this volleyball program or other heart health programs, we've got information for you. You can find it at KGW.com.